Hey there. Welcome. I appreciate you taking a look. Uh, I recently got another vintage camp knife that I'm really happy with. This is a John Primble brand knife from the Belk Knapp Hardware Company, but it was actually made by Boker USA. So that gives me a lot to talk about. I want to talk a little bit about the John Primble brand. I want to talk about old line hardware stores and their contract knives. And I want to talk a little bit about Boker USA. So let's just jump right into it. All right, so as I mentioned, this is a John Primble brand knife sold by Belknap Hardware. They were out of Louisville, Kentucky. They were an old line hardware wholesaler and distributor. They were in business from 1840 up until 1985. And uh, they not only sold knives under the John Primble name, but also under Bluegrass and Pine Knot. By the way, stay tuned until the end of the video because I have a slideshow showing several of the old line hardware stores that sold knives under their own house brands. Um, pictures of their old buildings, the dates they were in business, and the brand names that they sold knives under. So if you've ever been confused about some of these knife brands and um, where they came from, that might be helpful. Uh, now these are contract knives, so none of these hardware companies actually made these knives. They would uh, use other manufacturers such as Camilla, Schrade, Utica, this one's made by Boker, uh, so, you know, lots of different companies, um, and then sell them under their, their house brand. So contract knives are, for, from a collecting standpoint, they're probably never going to be quite as value, valuable as the same knife uh, with the original manufacturer's tang stamp or name on it. Um, but it, it, a lot of times it is a good way to get you know, a knife, if you're after a Boker, for instance, or a Schrade, uh, that kind of flies under the radar. And you might be able to get it with a hardware store brand on it uh, for a little less, which is what happened with this knife. According to uh, allaboutpocketknives.com, and I'm paraphrasing here, but you'll find original old Primble knives uh, to be of extremely high quality. Uh, Belk Knapp outsourced production to a variety of manufacturers to a set of specifications that were of extraordinarily high standards. Uh, those manufacturers in this case were Camillus, Schrade, Utica, and Boker. And uh, so this is a, the John Primble brand. Who was John Primble? Who, who is John Galt? I don't know who John... No. Uh, Primble was rumored to be one of Belk Knapp's uh, best salesmen. That's, that's all we really know about John Primble. But uh, Belk Knapp started the John Primble brand, uh, starting selling knives under the John Primble brand back in 1890. And they were originally John Primble India Steelworks. Uh, they had that tang on them all the way up until uh, 1940. And um, then they were John Primble, Belknap Hardware and Manufacturing Company, which this one is, all the way up until 1968. Uh, after 1968, there's a John Primble Belknap Inc. tang stamp, and uh, that runs up till 1985. Uh, those were Delrin. They were a little different. Delrin handles, I think they were mostly made by Camillus. And there's some differences that I can point out between those knives and this knife. Uh, I believe this knife runs somewhere between 1940 and 1958. The 1958 I just get because another um, dealer was selling one of these. He he's, sells a lot of great, rare, mint state knives. So I just have to assume he knows what he's talking about and he dated his from 1940 to 1958. I think maybe the issue is that after 1958, they switched over to maybe Delrin handles or something. And as another aside, uh, John Primble is often billed as um, the longest continuous cutlery line in America, uh, over 145 continuous years. Uh, that's not really true because they're no longer made in America. Um, as I said, uh, Belknap went out of business in 1985, uh, but reproductions of the John Primble India Steelworks knives, the, the very first 
tank stamps and the earliest knives were made by a company by the name of Bluegrass out of the Queen factory here in the U.S. And Bluegrass, the company Bluegrass still owns the name John Primble and uh, they produce knives um, also uh, under the um, Bluegrass name, I think, and also do the Winchester knives. But those are all made out of China now. Okay, well enough about all that. Let's just take a look at this really nice knife. Um, why did I buy this knife? Of all the different knives that I could buy, why would I buy John Primble from Belknap Hardware? Because I'm really more interested in, you know, the, the knives uh, directly from the manufacturer. Um, I bought this because I knew it to be a Boker USA knife. I, I never had a Boker USA scout knife or camp knife, and um, I really wanted one in good condition. And this knife uh, is near mint. I mean, it's not mint, but it's virtually unused and in great shape, as you'll see as we go through it. So what kind of tipped me off that this was a Boker knife was a couple of things. Um, first of all, the shape, and it's got really good stiff spring action, uh, the shape of the can opener, the style of the can opener. I'll put in a couple of pictures when I'm through talking here in a second of some uh, Boker Scout knives, and you can see uh, that this is the same knife. Also, just, you know, the color of the bone, uh, the jigging pattern, um, basically, you know, those are kind of uh, identifying features. They're, it's very subtle, but you can tell. Um, this long, screwdriver cap lifter, and, um, not having a punch, but having a secondary, really long kind of pen blade was a giveaway too. And also one other thing, just kind of the fact that it had a long nail pull and the shape of the blade. Uh, it's just kind of a, a little different than a lot of scout knives. It's not quite as rounded, but it is kind of leaf shaped. And that just looks like Boker to me. So um, let me put in a couple pictures of some other uh, Boker knives, this exact same knife, but with the Boker badge on the front. So you can see the similarities there. Okay, so here's the tang stamp, and again, this was Primble's second tang stamp. John Primble, first line, Belknap, second line, hardware and manufacturing company. Now the reason I say this knife isn't mint state, I mean, because it's close, but I do believe the blades have been polished. I believe on the original, if it had not been polished, um, you would see an etch that would say John Primble Finest Steel. There's the long nail pull. It's swedged. It's a beautiful blade. And on the back you have the model number, 3335, and a star. And I've read two things. I've read if you have a star on a John Primble knife, it means it's made by Boker, and I've seen that several times. I've also seen mentioned, however, if you have a star, it's made by Camillus. So I don't really know what to tell you about that. This knife is definitely made by Boker. We did already take a look at the uh, can opener, but just again, it's a two-piece can opener. You can see there, two pieces sort of welded together. Very sharp on the inside. It looks like it would be very, very capable. It's just got a very distinctive look to it. More of a flattish cutting edge than a, um, than a curled safety can opener hook. Uh, again, a really nice screwdriver uh, cap lifter. And it's just a very well finished knife. Just a really well made knife. And then that secondary blade. Again, I, I believe these blades have been polished. They've been well, you know, it was done well, but you can kind of see here where the, maybe they stopped polishing. Uh, I don't think the knife's ever been sharpened. So I think those are the original edges. So these great looking bone handles, they just got a ton of character, depth, color, warmth, whatever you want to say. Uh, nickel silver bale, nickel silver bolsters, brass liners, really tight fit, 
I mean, this is watertight on the back. It's a really solid knife. As far as the fit and finish, uh, you know, again, this is a knife probably from before, what, 1950. Um, but the only thing that I noticed is that um, the, uh, the rings on the bolsters in a couple places are a little sloppy. And uh, it's a little gappy right here where the bone handle meets the um, bolster. And, you know, that could have shrunk over the years. May not have been like that originally, I don't know. It's a very nice nickel silver badge that's pinned in. Um, doesn't say anything. But again, I just think that's a gorgeous knife. It's a really good size. I haven't measured it, but I would say it's probably three and three quarters versus as opposed to three and three eighths. It just has that feel to it. Um, yeah, just really happy with it. It's great, got great action. So I said I'd talk about Boker USA a little bit. Uh, let me do that. You know, um, everybody's, I think, familiar with Heinrich Boker, who started uh, uh, Heinrich Boker and Company in Solingen back in, what, 1869 in Germany there. But uh, his cousin, Hermann, and uh, Hermann's brother, Robert, came to North America. Uh, Hermann started Boker USA in, I think, 1837 in New York. And at first it was just an importer and distributor for German-made knives. Uh, Robert started up in Canada, then moved to Mexico and started Casa Boker, which is still uh, in existence. So it's really cool, family business all over the world. Um, but uh, Herman Boker, again, just an importer, but they started making their own knives around 1899 in Newark, New Jersey. I think I read in like 1916 or 1917, uh, they bought the Valley Forge Cutlery of Newark, New Jersey, and began making Boker USA knives at that plant, and they made them there until about 1950. So um, this was probably made at the old Valley Forge plant, I'm assuming. Uh, in 1969, Boker USA became part of the J. Weiss and Sons um, of Maplewood, New Jersey, and in uh, 1978, they were bought by the Cooper group tool manufacturing from North Carolina. Uh, 1986, uh, the company once again became part of Heinrich Boker of Germany, and now they're headquartered in Golden, Colorado. So that's a little background on Boker USA. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this, I think, very fine Boker USA made knife, uh, John Primble band, brand for Belknap Hardware. Stay tuned because here comes my little slideshow on Old line hardware stores and their house brand knives. Thanks for watching and have fun collecting.